look, when you look at the top five education HBCU, like top five college of education HBCUs, those teachers invest because they want their kids, their students to be the best teachers as possible. You know why? They're gonna put them in the fire early. You know why they're gonna put them in the fire early? Because they wanna evaluate to see how they respond. Do that to me, right? You said prepare, so put me in the fire. Because guess what I know, bro? You, you telling me to read a textbook and you telling me to do a project, ain't really gonna prepare me for the classroom. But if you put me in the fire and tell me to go teach that class. <laughs> Say this. All right, cool. Exactly. My name is Fred, how you are doing today? Uh, I will be your teacher for the next couple of days. Exactly. That's exactly. It. And then you do what you do, and then somebody will tell you, all right, I like your energy. I like how you, you know, you did blah, blah, blah. But can you tell me, Mr. Fred, why was Jonathan not engaged? Now you start to see, okay, I did notice when I was reading, I noticed, you know, he was Now you can tell me, oh, well, Jonathan, Jonathan is ESE. See what I'm saying? So his attention span isn't where it needs to be because Jonathan is really not supposed to be in his class. Jonathan needs to be with another teacher during that period. You understand what I'm saying? So they, they, they throw little things in there to see how you gonna, you know what I'm saying, adapt. Right. Right. But that's, to me, that's only when people invest in you. They, 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 they do that because they want to see how you're going to adapt. And then they, then when we get back to class on Monday, guess what we're talking about now? What we can do to help Jonathan? That's preparation, right? Not me telling you, not me saying, Andrew, well, you need to write me a two-page paper about what you learned. No. If Andrew had a problem with this ESC kid, then we need to show Andrew, because if he's not going to, if he's going to get his certification, but he's not going to get his certification with, with a special ed degree, then we need to show him how to adjust and adapt so when he do get this, um, the special need kids in his class. I'm not just going to allow just any and everybody to teach my child and you ain't teach them nothing? Nah, that ain't how, that ain't how that works. Well, I'm not going to allow you to, most teachers, pile homework up for what? Why? I mean, they got life after school, so why? You know they're not going to do it. So why are you giving them homework for some of them got a game right after school. Some of them got a got a job right after school. Some of them got to take care of their siblings before their parents come home. True. But you want to pile on homework, and then you get mad at, at them for not doing that homework. That don't make no sense. It don't. But you know that's 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 the world we. That's the world of education, right? And it's not everybody, bro. It, it, it's not. It's only a select few. And my thing is this, you know, even at the college preparatory level or the IB level, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. You're preparing them for college. I get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But even in college, stuff ain't due till Friday or Sunday night at 11.59. Like, those who want to go to college, put them on a the college schedule. All right. All work must be due by 11.59 on Sunday. Because why? Kids have emails now, right? Mm -hmm. Teachers have emails now. So therefore, guess what? If you are, if you sit and let your work pile up, that's on you. I ain't on teacher. That's on you. There's a lot of bias going on. A lot of real answers will be, be answered. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of real... Think about it. You have to ask a question, right? When it comes mm -hmm. to teacher, you have to answer things. You have to be verbally honest, correct? Students are verbally honest. Opinion, yeah. Opinion. Yeah. Teacher, do you know what? She don't teach me. Teach what? She ain't never taught her I don't like that. Management, you crazy. We be in here roughing this lady up every day. Everybody looking like, well, when we come by, that's because she pay us. Ah. Gotcha. Bro, they'll tell the truth, though, for real, for real. I, 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 to me, it'd be just too much smoke. And a lot of teachers who claim to be teacher of the year, bro, they don't want all that smoke because they don't want the truth to come out. They scared. That's why I was in They scared. That's it, bro. I mean, eventually the truth will come out eventually. Like, what you waiting for? Bro, right, just tell the truth, Shane the devil. Sorry, Ray, I don't know. What? 800 kids. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. 
I, I will win teacher of the year only because I teach my my kids. Mm-hmm. I got swagger. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be like, yo, Coach DJ like that. I can see you winning teacher of the year because they be like, yo, like yo, Coach Andrew, he's that guy. Like he does what he needs to do. That's why, that's why, because we're teaching. You know, if we're gonna win that award, let it be like it says, teacher of the year. Teacher, which means we're doing everything from A to Z. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't missing no steps. So it's nine mm-hmm. men who work there. All right, that, that were there last year. Mm-hmm. And you mean to tell me that nobody knew that this child came from a situation since his fifth grade year? That's what you're telling me. Because he's in the sixth grade now. So which means nobody went and did research on this young man and said, hey, let me reach out to this fifth grade teacher because something's, you know, I can sense something is wrong. So I, I, I need to know what happened when he was in your class. How did you fix it? Like, how did you handle him? But now we gotta have a parent-teacher conference. And he just started sixth grade. So that means nine times out of 10, if he was like this in fifth grade, his parents already know, <laughs> already know this. This is, this is, this is nothing new. This, this is a- It's a constant this, this thing. A, yeah, this, this is constant. This is constant. But yet, something wrong with that child, man. Now it's time for you to put your now it's time for you to put your big boy pants on, sir. And you gonna have to, you you gonna have to reach out to him the best way that you can. I don't care if, if you got to talk to him before before school starts to get his mind mentally prepared or put him on a plan. Now, I ain't talking about no behavior plan. We uh, what's your goals? Put you on the goal plan. Let's 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 put you on the plan to where all right. If you do X Y Z. Then these are the rewards that you get. You, you you can get, but you already on the paper trail. I told you when you first met me, I hate paper trail. Remember, I told you that mm-hmm. that pisses me off because you said it. You like, coach, my man's you on the paper trail, and school ain't even been in that long. So you, I'm not cool with that. That's what engineers do. That's why that's why that field is tough and competitive because. They're on the grind every day. Same thing with people who major in biology. They want to be doctors. So guess what? They're on the grind every day. Nursing, nurse, nursing um, students. On the, that's trauma, dog. Because er, er, what they're going through, they have no life. They have no break. Because they getting it. They getting it. I'm, wow. I'm one. I want to get in a medical school, so I got to be on my P's and Q's. I can't sit up here and I can't wait. So I want to go work for for the railroad company. I want to I want to go work for this this company, this engineer company. And I know it's gonna be a lot more people in this field. And I know I got to go against them. I got to compete against them. So yeah, they gonna stress because they want it, right? Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day. Please don't overdo it the way I find you dead. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you just so stressed that you just, you done. And you say these words out your mouth. I'm not coming back next semester. There's just too much on me. That's mental illness. Mental illness in college is real. Think about them people that's been there for a long time, Andrew, and they still ain't graduated yet. That's tough.